Hey everybody, it's another great day here in the Iowa wilderness. We're going fishing at another farm pond today. I've got John in the truck, ready to roll. Taylor is off doing something that's not important. And pretty soon, we're gonna be taking this thing down to the pond and getting some bass. Fishing friends off-road, here we go. So before we get over to the water, I'm gonna re-rig. I'm gonna run my custom jig set, brown blue skirt, orange jig head with the craw, finishing it off. It's a nice tasty snack, no bass can deny. All right, so one really fun thing about today is we've got a pretty strong wind out of the south. So I really like fishing this southward facing bank. And so I'm thinking that this is gonna be the spot to be. We've caught lots of fish in here before. Good chance that we're gonna run into some, some decent sized bass over here. It's just a matter of getting these casts out. Fish on, look at that. First thing right away, fish on. Yes, sir. First cast, got a fish. I'm telling you what, the setup, the spot, it all goes into it. And that's how we catch fish, ladies and gents. First bass of the day, good catch. I just, darn, I already tore up that craw. That stinks. We're gonna move on a little ways. Fish on. Oh, buddy. Yeah, we got a strike there. Yep, we got one. Oh shoot, holy cow, this thing's huge. Guys, I got a giant. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. This thing is massive, holy cow. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is the biggest bass I've ever seen. Holy smokes. Guys, come over here. Oh, look at that thing. Okay, got the hook out. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that thing is a monster. Look at the mouth on that thing. That is a huge bass. That's what I'm gonna weigh it here. I got my skill right in the pocket here. Let's, let's see what this thing weighs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. He is so huge, so big. Such a big fish. So that's a 4.21, 4 that's a big bass guys. 4.21 is what we had. Maybe the wind's contributing, I don't know. Four and some change fish. Let's, let's get a quick measurement on length too while we're at it. And we'll get this guy back in the water. I don't wanna keep him out too long. Scale, scale, scale. All right, scale. All right, from his, the tip of his fin to the top of his mouth, just over 21 inches. Man, what a beast. 21 inches, 4.21 pounds. That's a heck of a fish. How long was yours? He's gonna get out of there. He's, oh, come on. Fish go that way. There he goes, he's figuring it out. All right, we got a good, cool release. That was a big, that was a big bass. Yeah. High five. Oh man, we lost another claw on the craw. That's a tongue twister. Try to say that, claw on the craw. Claw on the craw. Clip the claw on the craw. Try that, clip the craw. Clip the claw on the craw. Clip the claw on the claw. <laughs> Clip the claw on the craw. All right, YouTube, we got a tongue twister challenge for you. It is the crawfish jig challenge. You gotta say, oh man, that bass clipped the claw on the craw. YouTube, can you do more than John? Oh man, that bass clipped the claw on the craw. Clip the claw on the craw. Hey. All right, well, I probably got marks all over my face now from wearing the camera, but uh, we are heading back over to the truck. We're wrapping this afternoon fishing session up. To recap, I caught two bass, one tiny little thing on my first cast, and then we caught that mammoth bass that had just laid all her eggs and 4.21 pounds and 21 inches of pure fishing delight. So 
That was a good catch. And I'll get back at you later this evening with the rest of this video. We're going to be packing and doing kind of a tackle overview for the upcoming fishing trip this weekend. We'll get back at you here in a couple hours with the tackle and packing overview. All right, it's the same video, same day, same shirt, different hat, but we're here in my office and it's time to start talking about tackle, talking about trip expectations for this fishing trip this weekend. And so let me give you a little bit of background on why we're going, where we're going, what the deal is with it. So early last week on my day off work, I was sitting at home and I was thinking about what I could do that would like really be fun, really be exciting. And I just thought to myself, there have got to be places in Iowa where there's some pretty good fishing. You know, we've been doing a lot of farm ponds. We've done some small reservoirs and different kinds of lakes and stuff. And we've caught fish at most of those places. We've done plenty of bass and everything. And uh, something I've wanted to do for a really long time is get more into predator fish. Uh, like walleye, muskie, northern pike, that kind of thing. And where we live in Iowa, we're further to the south and kind of west. We're pretty close to like Omaha, Nebraska, that area. And we just really don't have those kinds of fish populations here. And I finally found a place that's only about two hours away, and it was built as a fishing lake. They structured the floor of this reservoir with trees, rock piles, big mounds, all kinds of stuff um, to attract and keep and give good habitat for fish. And so every year they stock it with tons and tons of fish. I'm really excited about the walleye and the muskie potential on this trip. Went down to Bass Pro with my buddy Ethan last night and we spent like three hours walking the aisles um, looking for walleye rigs, looking at musky rigs. And so I wanted to give you just a few highlights of the gear that I am I am preparing for this trip with. All right, so one of the first things that I knew I was gonna need if we were gonna potentially get into some musky fishing um, was going to be a stainless steel leader for my line so that when a musky comes up and just smacks down on that thing, uh, that line won't break off, I won't lose my lure, and I'll be able to haul that fish into the boat. So the next thing I, I bought, I'll show you this because it kind of goes along with the leader. I bought a 50 pound test force braided line. So leader and line, that was kind of the first thing I went after. For it being my first time, I wanted to go with a simple approach on a walleye setup. I'll probably cast this on my bait caster a fair amount. And what I did is I just bought a couple of three packs of these walleye spinners. I'll probably run half a night crawler on this setup, I'll probably throw that crawler on under that um, egg run on that first first hook on the setup there. And um, yeah, I, I have no idea how these will do, but it's what we purchased. All right, so, so these next couple things I'm gonna show you, they're kind of, for me, they were sort of like a cross where I feel like they could go for bass, they could hit walleye um, and, and potentially even land a muskie if we got it in the right area. But I bought a couple of these uh, spinners just nice spinners that, I mean, super simple, you know, spoons, jigs, and skirts. And I bought a dark colored one, I bought a light colored one uh, for various conditions. This one I spent a little bit more money on. This one was like on clearance, so I picked it up as another option. Um, but this thing, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully both of these are a tasty enough looking treat that a walleye bass or muskie would decide to chomp down. I'd be happy just catching anything on these. This is like the big one. This is the musky rig, okay? I did this last night when I got home because I was so excited and I couldn't wait. This is my musky rig. I've got this stinking like mammoth center aligned spoon. It's a double spoon, got the beads, got the fluff, and a tremble hook on the bottom. Tremble hooks are scary. That's what I got stuck in my hand. So this thing would probably like take my hand off. I've got this nice beefy like 10, $15 bait on there. I've got our steel leader running through here and then I've got that new um, braided line, this green braided line um, spooled up on on my spin caster reel. So I've got it on a whooping stick. This is a medium action rod. That's the musky setup. Got some walleye stuff that I highlighted there. I'll show you a couple more things. Uh, this is my headlight. Everything I've read says that nighttime is a good time to go after those. I've heard people talk about how the moon cycle can really get them stirred up at certain nights. Um, so we're probably going to go out and do some night fishing. And so if we're in the boat or even if we're on shore, I don't want to have to be messing with my phone or a flashlight in order to get some light. So I did buy a headlamp that I can wear. So I've got this thing. Um, it's pretty bright. So that's sweet. Also in the backpack is this digital scale. This thing was featured in the video today. We hung that four and a quarter pound bass from this thing and got a accurate weight measurement. So that thing is handy for figuring out who's catching the biggest fish. It's still got this handy little tape measure in there. So you saw this earlier today too. Um, I pretty much just keep it around for the tape measure. So those will be in the backpack as well. 
And then the last thing that I bought is this big old net because I think if we are in the boat and we pull in a decent sized walleye or a muskie or even a big bass, um, it's going to be much better for everyone there to be able to just scoop them up in this thing rather than trying to fight uh, to get our hands in a good spot. And I don't want to lose any fingers. I came, I've come close enough before with losing fingers. And so I don't want to risk it with a muskie or a walleye or anything. We'll just net them and get the hook out safely in the boat. So anyway, so I hope you enjoyed my tackle review. I hope you thought it was cool seeing that uh, four and a quarter pounder come out earlier. That was an exciting fish for me to catch. I don't know that I've ever caught one quite that big out of that pond before. So that was a pretty sweet fish. Might even be my personal best. If you're into fishing videos, if you're into bass fishing, walleye fishing, muskie fishing, and just like seeing what we're doing, then do me a favor, hit like and subscribe on the video. Drop a comment if you've got anything to say, any comments on my tackle, any comments on my jig, rig, setup. So we'll, we'll be back tomorrow afternoon when we've got everything loaded up and we're headed to the lake. That's all I've got for this video. So leave me a comment, like, subscribe, and we will catch you next time on IW Outdoors. Wapah!